Hey team, Scott here. I'm going to give you a quick training of how to run ProPresenter now with our three um, projector setup. It's a little little bit different than normal. The advantages now is that because um, we don't have a, a um, alpha uh, alpha layer uh, compatibility with our software to overlay our lyrics on top of the video very cleanly, um, now we can mix between video, our cameras, and um, any kind of background shot without losing any res resolution because now our lyrics are full time on the center screen. So let me give you an overview of how this will run down from an operational standpoint. Uh, you're running um, a Sunday, the pre-service loop is rolling. Now the problem is our pre-service loop is made to fill up our side screens but not our center. So you'll see that when I fire off something like this it looks terrible on the center screen. So what we do is we're using something called a prop inside of uh, ProPresenter here and the props are uh, right up here on the uh, on the top of this bar here, open props, and that opens up this blue bin. In this blue bin I've created a couple different props, and the props sit on top of everything except for the mask, and, um, and then you can fire those off. So I'm going to fire off this logo right here, and you'll see that that's going to overlay on top of everything that's running underneath it. So that looks much more pleasing than um, some oddly cropped videos that we're trying to play behind that. Uh, so anytime you're playing uh, anything that's got text or subject material, we've got to roll it on there as a prop because then it can be independently um, scaled and stretched and all that sort of stuff to fit on that alternate screen shape. Uh, so that would be during a pre-service, during announcements, and, uh, and during um, the message. So we're in pre-service, it's rolling, we're going along. And then we get ready to um, fire off, say, like a countdown. Here's a countdown running. Uh, this is what it looks like. By the way, this screen right here is only our left output channel. We've got a left output, a center output, and a right output. I'll tell you how we're using those in, the uh, in a second here. Um, now, you can choose to get rid of the prop simply by clicking on that which is selected, or there's an X. Uh, the X is right here. The X will get rid of that prop. And now we're showing the countdown, but it looks very poor, so I would not do that in a live setting. Um, I would just keep the prop on there. So either the sermon series graphic or just the church logo would be fine for that moment. And then once we hop into, say, announcements, um, you know, let's say we pop the Mother's Day thing up there, and again, that doesn't look real great, so I would play a different logo, see the AMP logo in this case from the Mother's Day. This Mother's Day I've made smaller so it fits better. Uh, so that's playing a prop in the middle. Very important to keep those those clear, those clean. Um, now once we hop into the worship set, this is when the real sparkle and sizzle takes place. Um, so um, now what this allows is that our, um, our lighting operator can, they don't have to, but our lighting operator can choose to um, fire off the video backgrounds independently of us playing a lyric. So when we do a lyric and we're ready to roll in a worship time, you clear the prop by clicking on it again. And then you simply um, overlay the lyric. And there it shows up in the middle. It's clean because it's not going through any other mixers. It's sharper. It's bigger. Uh, we are limited to four lines usually. I mean, I suppose we could cram five in there if we needed to, but four lines, and that's Jeremiah's job typically. And uh, you can forward through all of these lyrics and they will be pervasively up on the center screen and we can do whatever we want mixing between the video and the cameras uh, without anyone losing their capability of seeing the lyrics. Huge, huge improvement. Uh, so most of the time you're just going to be uh, forwarding through these uh, as you always have and uh, during the worship we're playing all those lyrics on the center screen. So if you go through your set here, and um, let's say you need to play a video. So in this instance, this is the ser this is our Mother's Day um, set, and we had to play the a kids video here. So the kids get up on stage, and um, we're showing the video on the sides because they're really cute. But we need to play a video when they get on there. So if I simply click it, then you'll see that it's on all three screens. And again, that looks really poor. Um, so we'll need to play a prop on the middle. So I'm going to play the Mother's Day prop and that looks much better now. Well it plays on there. Um, let me go ahead and cancel this video. Alright, cleared the video. So you would play through that and then during the message another change is 
we've got the ability to um, play our uh, our message graphics, our, our title overlays, but now we can go full-time video on the side and we don't have to do, do any keying at all and everything takes place in the middle. So make sure that your all your props are cleared and then you simply spacebar between a, gra a title and then a logo when you're done. And you cycle through those. Back to logo. Back to logo. So on and so forth. Um, that's the, uh, the major operational procedures for, uh, for running this. Again, keep in mind the props layer is very important. It's going to be your new best friend. Everything else is still over here very similar. Now, one difference is this. We've got the ability um, inside here, since uh, we've got the three um, outputs working, you'll see that we can independently control props, slides, and video images. In this instance, I want this, the props to only be on the center screen because I don't want to cover over the right and left. The slide I have on the center screen uh, and the slides are uh, any lyrics, any of our text that we put together inside ProPresenter. Um, and then the video, we want video showing on everything. But then you've got this curious little guy here, which is the, um, the slide taking place on the right. Now, why did I do that? I did that because our um, screens, we're not running two independent sends. We're running one send out of our mixer. Therefore, I cannot separately control my left screen from my right screen. I, basically, I've only got one output here and then a second output there. If we had it configured a wonderful way, we could have a bird fly through the screen, fly through the center screen, and fly through the left, the left screen, but that won't happen. In this case, it would go like this. It would fly through both of them, fly through the center, and fly through both of them again as it went. Um, so the reason I've got the slides on the right screen is because on the television on the floor now, we will have, uh, and I'll show you this, this is our TV monitor right here. Um, let me fire up a lyric. Um, we will have... Hold on. Here's the here's the TV lyric. Uh, and the TVs, we will have lyrics only on the center of that, and it will be formatted correctly for them. Uh, so the difference, though, is that this switch down here on the bottom controls your TVs. Either it comes from the uh, right output on the iMac, uh, or it comes from the Ederall. If it comes from the Ederall, you're going to show on your iMac which is fine, but then they don't get any lyrics. If you show your uh, lyrics, then they won't get any iMag. So you can use this to switch between lyrics for the worship and iMag for the message. And this is slick now because it will uh, automatically crossfade between the two and will, uh, and will look beautiful unlike that old Radio Shack switcher we had before. Um, I'm going to be uh, out of town here shortly, so I wanted to make this for you guys so that you will know how to operate that when I'm on vacation. Uh, love you guys. Love working with you. Hopefully that's helpful and um, hope it's a successful for everyone. I think it'll be a good impact on the congregation since they can see their lyrics without having anything bled over from uh, video overlays. So, all right. Peace out. Bye.